Okay, so now we're, we're looking at what does it mean if Christ dies at 105? What's being, what's the convergence? What's the balance? Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. What's the convergence? What's the balance? And when you see this, you are going to die. I just learned it. That's why I'm having trouble talking. We have to go back to the flood. Paul's anaphora meter on the apinon anaphora, which begins right here, the first time the apinon anaphora begins. What kept bothering me is why was he leaving out the time between 105 and 133? I couldn't understand why was he doing it that way. Why was he pegging his meter that way? Because he pegs it starting here for a pinon. But then he overlaps it, and it's like, what? I've been going through this for like two years now. Okay, why is Paul's meter like this? Okay, well, this 105 is 105 threes. 105 threes are 45 sevens. That's the, the a pinon anaphora meter, which... If you look up 45 sevens in the Ephesians 1 repar stock, you'll find me explain it. 45 sevens is 315. Noah was in the boat 308 days, okay, from his from the time he entered it until his birthday. The extra seven being added to his time in the boat. It's a metaphor. Okay, so now watch this. And you say, well, right now that's just an interpretation. Oh, yeah? Watch. 1056 is Noah's birth per Bible only, not, you know, astronomy or astrology or somebody guessing. Just use the Bible's dates and only use solar years, okay? Noah was born 1056, as you can see in column H, right here where my, my little shell cursor is. 1056 from Adam's fall. Watch. 1056 plus 1050 is 2106. You got that, right? I'm going to take the calculator away. So now watch what happens when we go to year 2106. Twenty forty six is when Abram super matures. That gives rise to the the fifty year and the finally fifty seven year hiatus between Christ's scheduled death and the millennium. Okay, now watch. Looky looky here. Twenty one oh six and Menhotep unites Egypt. That's not the importance of the date. Here's the importance of the date. Jacob was born. 2106 exactly exactly 1050 years from Noah and you can say to me oh brain out that's just a coincidence you're just manipulating the numbers oh yeah watch so now we take 2106 and we add 1050 that's what 3156 memorize that number 3156 so we're going from Jacob's birth to 3156. And what year is that? Oh, honey. I almost died when I saw this. I've been trying to figure this out for two years now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Moses' personal 490 ends, and the temple is dedicated. 1 Kings 9, 950 B.C. 3156 from Adam. So 1050 from Jacob's birth, which was 1050 from Noah's birth, is the birth of the temple in terms of its dedication date. That's when it's officially born, active, open for business. And you say, ah, oh, well, that's just another coincidence. Oh, yeah? Watch. 3156 plus... 1050 is what? 4206, that's end of year. So 4207, Christ is 105 years old. That's the 1050th anniversary of the temple. 
See this beginning of year, end of year. Christ is born at the end of year. You with me on that? God's even time. This is why I keep trying to tell people you can prove he was born on Hanukkah. There's 16,000 ways in the Bible to prove it. And you know, and just because the Bible doesn't cater to our modern laziness and, and tell us in a dull manner, yes, he was born on Hanukkah. Because they use clever language to use it, to explain it. Which, you can learn this, it's just the math, hello, Christ is born on Hanukkah, that's end of year. So he's turning, he's about to turn 105. In the 1050th anniversary of the first temple. So that would have been a likely rapture date if rapture was going to occur then. Paul's whole meter is based on potential rapture dates and what you can say about history during that time. And I've said this, I already covered this in the GGS videos. During that time, this was the time of the adoptive emperors. So Paul's picking adoption. Huiltesian means adoption as sons. You know, sons into the son, which is Isaiah 53, 11, coming to 10, contract to make sons. I'm sorry, it doesn't get balder than this. Let's go back through the math. 4207 is when what you see highlighted in blue here is Huiltesian. It's on sons. Okay, could, could Paul be more clever than this? Sons made from the sun, right? So we got sons made from the sun in 105. Potential rapture date, 4207 from Adam. Now watch, minus 1050 is what? That's the, the end of, you know, beginning of the new year, 3157 from Adam. Okay, first temple. Minus 1050 again, another son birth of Jacob. That's I've got a one year rounding in here that I'm going to have to worry, worry about. Minus 1050 again and that's Noah. See they're all sons. You get that? The temple is a kind of son of David. It depicts the son of God. I, I don't know. Could Paul get more clever than that? And 105 is the Noah time in the boat, so it ties back to Noah in that way too. And that's a very lengthy discussion, which I cover in the Daniel 9, you know, material and in the um, Pauline material here in Ephesians 1 reparsed. Okay. So, honey, we got a tracking of 1050 that I didn't notice before. I apologize going all the way back to Noah, which accounts for why his meter of the Apinon Anaphora is using 45 sevens, aka 105 threes, dating back to the ark when you just hub out the math. Because he's playing the same game with hubbing the math like Mary did in the Magnificat. And it's tying to the text, airship, sonship, through the Son, Jesus the Christ, Hello? God orchestrates time. 21 years was the number of years that Jacob spent in Haran. Building what? His family. Coming out in year 21. And these are all being tied to 1050s, which are civilization units, which means that God is also measuring the 1050s in a way I didn't tell you before because I didn't notice it before. So thank you to the folks who brought this up, what you see on Ais Huyote Sien Dia Jesu Christu, about the 105, because this brain out just didn't notice the connections. I wondered about it. I talked about it in the GGS videos. Why is he picking 105? And apparently some of you guys had the same question because, you know, you're asking me and I don't know and now I know thanks to you. So that's it. Yell at me. Ask questions. Whatever. Bye.